So many of you that have been around the channel for a while, you guys know, you know, what teams that I'm a fan of. Of course, you know, for the NFL, I'm a Jets fan. I've been a Jets fan since I was like six years old. For the NBA, I'm a Knicks fan. Most of my family, besides myself, really, are from New York. They're from Brooklyn. That is, uh, you know, where my fandom lies. But for college football, I've always been an Ohio State fan. My dad spent a lot of time living in Ohio, and I just became, an, a, you know, a Buckeyes fan. But I can tell you right now, after logging in to College Football 25 earlier, I was looking at the main screen and I was looking at the helmet and I was like, the stickers, man. I've always loved the Buckeye stickers, but you can't get those in, you know, on your team builder team. There's like no real way to do it, or at least there seems to be no way to do it. But using Photoshop and team builder, I'm going to show you guys today how you can do exactly that. Okay. Now I want to preface by saying that this is not something that is going to be like true stickers right you're not going to be able to get different stickers for different players helmets they're all going to look the same no matter what you know helmet they're on or what player they're on so there is that limitation of course and if, you know you can't reward them for you know uh you know doing good things on and off the field like you can in real life but it is something that you guys will be able to do i'll show you a little trick of how you can do it if you do want to do this so i came on to google and i just typed in round logo uh you know into google images and i saw that you know i found this tide logo right here and this is what we're gonna use. I'm gonna save this to my desktop. You can either right click it and uh, you know hit save image to downloads or save and then choose where you wanna save it to. But I usually just drag, uh, you know, if it'll drag, drag and drop it onto my desktop and use it that way. And then just drag it into Photoshop or Photop, whichever you guys are using. But I wanna grab another graphic just to show you guys how you can actually make a sticker off of an image that's not already round like the Tide logo. So let me just find something here that we can use. All right, so I had to get a little bit more specific with it, but I typed in tiger stripe. So I'm going to use this right here. We're going to use this pattern right here, and I'm going to show you how you can make this into a round sticker. So say if you have a team called the Tigers or something like that, it would be really cool to use something like this, but you can use any image using this method. So before we work with the Tide logo, I'm going to bring this one into Photoshop just by dragging and dropping it. Or if you don't want to drag and drop it, you can go to file and then you can go to open. Uh, or you can right click on the image wherever you have it saved to and just choose open with Photoshop, right? And, uh, you know, there we go. We got it in. Now I'm going to show you exactly how you can actually make this into a round, you know, pattern or a round logo. So first off, obviously, we're always going to start off by right clicking over in the layers panel here, right clicking our tiger stripes. Uh, you know, uh, graphic and hitting rasterize layer so we can work with it. And then we're going to come up here to the top left where our tools are and where we usually pick out the rectangular marquee tool. We're going to hold down on our mouse button. Our, our, we're going to right uh, left click and hold down. And then we're going to see the elliptical marquee tool. OK, you have the single row, you have the single column marquee tools and you have the rectangular. And then we have the elliptical. What we're going to do is use the elliptical and then just choose a spot that you think looks best. Hold shift down on your keyboard and then drag out a, uh, you know, a circle, right? It's, it's, and we're just going to make it big for now, but then we're going to shrink it later, right? So we'll make it about that big. And you can even take this and move your selection around. It hasn't really selected anything quite yet, but I think that that looks good right there. I think that'll be fine. Actually, might even make this a little bit bigger. Yeah, so we'll do that. And we'll take this little area right here. And uh, we'll, we'll make that what, you know, our sticker. Now, all we're going to do is we are going to go down here and you see where it says invert selection, right? But if you didn't have this, say you're in photo P and you don't have this or you're in Photoshop and don't have it. You just go to up to the menu at the top of the screen and go to image. I'm sorry, select. And then you'll see inverse. I'm sorry. It's <laughs> it's off screen right now. But yeah, there. if you go to hit select, you'll see all. Then you'll see deselect. You'll see reselect. And then right under that you'll see inverse. You'll go to select inverse and boom, it'll select the inverse. And then all we're gonna do is hit delete or backspace on our keyboard and boom. Now we've got just a circle and then not holding anything on the keyboard, not holding shift or anything just to keep the proportions. We're gonna scale it down to about right about there. All right, right about there is good. And that is a good size for us, right? And I mean, you can even make it a little bigger actually, but you don't want it to take up too much of your artboard. And then now, what we're going to do is we're going to just make rows of this, right? And I'm also going to bring in the Tide logo and do the same thing, right? We're just going to, now this is already a PNG with no background. So we can just size this down and start working with it right off the bat the same way, right? But I'm going to hide this for now because we'll work with it later. I'll rasterize it, but we'll, we'll work with that one later. For now, we're going to go ahead and we are going to hit Command or Control C and then Command or Control V to copy and paste it, right? 
And then, once we've got it, put it about as close as you want it to be, right, for your stickers. And then we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to select both of these this time. Hit Command or Control C, Command or Control V, and boom, now you've got this, right? So now, you just keep on doing this until you have as many as you want, and you can, you know, you can pattern them however you like them, or you could even, I'll show you another trick, you only get seven spots for custom layers on your helmets, so you don't want to just try doing like one at a time, but you could do like four at a time, or maybe eight at a time, and I'm going to show you like a good way you can do, if you want to do eight, we'll, we'll select all these, uh, Command or Control C, Command or Control V, and then just stagger them like this because that's what they usually look like on helmets, right? If you look at them on like a college helmet, that's what they usually will look like. Now, if we look at the Ohio State helmets, there really is no kind of, there's really not any any pattern to it. So you could you could make it like that if you want, as long as they're close to each other, you could make it. You could kind of do something like this, where you know, as long as they're close, that there's no real, you know, pattern to this. And I'll I'll do it this way just to show you guys how this looks. Uh, you know, that way, uh, you know, should you want to do this, you can, uh, you could do it this way as well. That way it, it'll kind of look more, you know, more authentic, I guess. But if you did want them to be lined up, you know, just keep them lined up or, you know, stagger them, do it however it looks the best to you. But now once we have them the way we want them, we're just going to move it to the middle here. And of course you could do as many of these on your canvas as you want, you know, as many as you want, as you see fit, just do as many. You'll go crazy with it. Just don't make these too big. You don't want it to be like this big on the canvas because then it just won't come out right on the helmet and you have to do too much resizing and it still won't look right. So kind of make them small in comparison to your artboard. If your artboard's smaller than this, make the circles or the stickers or the logos smaller. And then we're just going to go up to file, export, export as, and then boom, we're going to export this. Uh, that's good. 352.1 kilobytes is fine. That's less than 512, like I always say, and it is in the PNG format. We're going to go to export and boom, we'll go ahead and call these tiger stickers and we're good. And then I'll do the same thing with the tide, uh, you know, the tide stickers. Another thing you can do here too is once you've got all of these, you know, tiger stripes over here, you're going to have a lot of layers with the tiger stripes. If you just hold shift and click the bottom most tiger, you know, you have the top most one selected, hold shift, click the bottom most one. Once we have them all selected, if we just right click, you'll see this option here, new group from layers, right? So we're going to, we're going to click that and just call these, talk, call this group the tiger, whoops, stickers, boom. And then there you go. Now we have a new group from the layer. So now if I just hide the group, you know, they're all still separate. Right? They're all still separate, so I can move them individually. They're not merged. I can move them independently from one another, but they are grouped together over here. So if I hide them, I can hide them all at once. So that's a little trick for you guys to just clean up your workspace and make sure you have everything organized. Now I'm going to hide these by clicking the eyeball icon over here, and I'm going to unhide the Tide logo and do the same thing with the Tide logo for the, uh, you know, to, to import it in a team builder. So now I've arranged the Tide stickers the way that I want them, right? And I've got them all arranged, and I even merged the layers and called it Tide stickers. So this is just, you know, just to show you another way that you can do this, have, you know, more of the stickers and have them kind of in a different, you know, arrangement. And then... I even made a separate arrangement. I'll just drag that one in. I made another arrangement that is actually five of them just in a row. So I'll show you how we can work with all three of these different types of stickers or, you know, they're basically just logos. They're not really stickers, but we're going to make them look like stickers in Team Builder right now. So now that we're over in Team Builder, we're going to go to the logos, uh, you know, tab, the logos section of Team Builder. We're going to hit the little plus, go to my uploads, hit the plus again. Go to confirm, of course, and then we're going to start bringing in what we've made. We'll start with the Tide stickers first. Boom, we've got those. Then we'll go with the Tiger stickers next. So now I've imported into Team Builder on Microsoft Edge all the logos that I want to use here. And just as a little bit of a bonus content, uh, I'm going to show a little bit of bonus content. I'm going to show you guys uh, a method of what we can do with this Tide logo because it's something that I just got an idea in my mind and I want to do it, right? We, we bring this, I'm just dragging this in because a few people have asked me, you know, what are you doing to get it into Photoshop or Photop? I'm literally just dragging it from my desktop over and dropping it right onto the artboard, right? So I'm gonna hit con com Command Z or Control Z or just hit this little uh, you know icon up here to get rid of that because I don't want that second one. I'm gonna go ahead and rasterize this first one and then I'm gonna isolate this Tide logo. I'm gonna show you another real, really quick way you can do that. Just the text, right? I don't want that circle behind it. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to select the T, hold Shift, and then select the I, 
the D and the E. And then I'm going to select the white stroke that's around it to get that as well, right? And then just to make sure, just for good measure, I want to make sure we have everything that's inside of here. So I'm going to use the lasso tool while holding shift to get all of these little pieces that it might, that the, the magic wand tool might not have gotten. And sometimes just taking the magic wand tool and holding shift and clicking a bunch of times throughout the image or, you know, throughout the area that you want to keep, then that'll work as well. Then now that we've got that all selected, we're going to go down here to uh, invert selection. And I know I've shown you guys similar things before, but I just want to show you another way. Invert selection and boom. And again, you could always go to select and then inverse up here under the menus as well to do the same thing by inverting the selection. And then now we've got just the Tide logo and we'll export that and use that as well. So now we've got all of our stuff imported into Team Builder. We're gonna go over here to our brand new helmet, right? And we're gonna go to custom layers and I'm going to delete the EA logo. I'm gonna make this helmet shiny and we're gonna give it, uh, we're gonna give it a cool stripe as well. Uh, let's go and look through these stripes and see which one looks best to us. All right, so we've got the helmet set up uh, so far. Then I'm gonna go to accessories. I'm just gonna do a quick thing here just to show you guys, you know, that a cool little thing. I'm gonna put the tide thing on the front bumper because I think that'll look cool. And I'm gonna put it on the back bumper as well. Just, just as, you know, just for something to do, you know, just to customize it a little further for us. And boom, there we go. So I'm gonna resize that. And by the way, if you guys don't know how to resize it, once you've got your bumper logo on there, if you just go to advanced placement and then you can resize this however you see fit. You can even rotate it. Uh, unfortunately, you can't move it across the back, but you can rotate or resize it. So there we go. We've got it on the front and the back. And now I'm going to show you why I brought in that text. I'm going to go to custom layers. We have seven that we can use. We haven't used any yet. I'm going to put the tide, just the tide isolated on the side here, right? Just the text. Because I think that that's going to look up. I don't know why, but I just think it, again, this was very random. This is spur of the moment. And, uh, you know, I just decided to do this. We'll go to duplicate so that it gives it, you know, we can see the tide on both sides. We can see it says tide on both sides here. And then we will resize it or move it and adjust it as we see fit. So I will move it a little bit up toward the front since we're going to have the stickers toward the back. And there we go. Boom. Now we hit apply. Now we're going to add our stickers, right? So I'm going to start off by just adding this sticker group right here that has the most on it. So we put that on the side. We wanna make sure so that it's not on both sides. We're just gonna to go to right or left, whichever side you're putting it on. This side, I'm putting it on the right this time, but we're gonna hit, so we're gonna hit right for placement and then we're gonna move it to the left, right? Move it to the left. Don't worry about that distortion on the helmet. It won't show up in uh, game, you know, nearly as much. We're gonna move it down and we're also gonna rotate it a bit until it's right where we need it to be. And then we're going to scale it up, go up with this, go to the right with it. And we're just going to mess with this until we get it right where we want it to be. So that looks just fine to me. So there we go. And actually, now that I'm looking at it, I'm just going to remove the back bumper image uh, entirely because I just don't like it being there next to the stickers. So boom, there we go. All right. Now let's go back up to the custom layers and we'll add more, add more stickers to this. All right, so I messed with this. I got it right to about where I want it. And then just to add, you know, some variation, I'm going to add some on the left-hand side here as well. And boom, there we go. So we got a helmet that literally looks now like it has stickers on it. And I'll even make a jersey for it so that it'll kind of, you know, just so the colors will match and everything. But we'll hit apply here. And now we've got our tied helmet, my boys. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and make a jersey real quick for it. So there we go. Now we've got our Tide team here, my boys, and it's got the stickers on the back and everything. Now let's go back and I'll go to the away helmets to show you how you can actually put those Tiger, uh, tiger stickers on. It's the same concept, but just want to show you guys how it'll look real quick. That way you guys can see, uh, you know, uh, some different variations. So now there's our helmet with our tiger stickers on it and again man you could you could you know you could do anything you would like with this right you could you could change the the uh you know the location of the stickers around as much as you want uh but again i just want to say like i said man i want you guys to know that this will not be different on every helmet it'll be the exact same on every helmet which it does kind of suck for now but until we can get something like real stickers uh you know this is a way that you can you know give your team 
a little bit of a, a different look, you know what I mean? Just to make it look a little bit more unique. And, uh, you know, I'm just trying to give you guys methods to kind of, you know, expand your horizons, right? Like, give you guys something to, uh, to think about. And, uh, you know, again, if I was redoing these stickers, I'd probably put, like, a slight stroke, a uh, black stroke, like, around them. Just to make them look more sticker-like, I guess. But, to be honest with you, man... I'm happy with the way the Tide ones came out because it actually looks like real stickers. It really does on there. So, looks really good, man. I'm going to export this real quick just as a test and uh, take a look at them in-game and see how they look, man. Hope that you guys uh, were able to learn something from this, though, if you were. Uh, like I always say, man, join the family and subscribe if you're new around here. We would love to have you uh, as part of the community, as part of the family, man. And, again, if you had a good time in this video or if you learned something, learned anything at all or, you know, you just liked it, give it a thumbs up for me. It really helps. It, it helps a lot more than I really thought it did. So it would help a ton, man. And, and so much love to you guys for all that you do. But enough of my talking, man. Let's jump in and take a look at these uniforms in game real quick. So it actually came out looking pretty darn good in the game. As you can see, I gave him kind of a silly name, but whatever, man. I just, I, I had to call him something and, you know, tied, you know, tied, tied, whatever. But anyway, man, the, like I said, it actually came out looking good enough in game to where these could pass for stickers. Again, I just want to reiterate, man, obviously it's going to be the same on every helmet. So we don't have that authentic feel yet, but it still at least looks cool right it looks like you have stickers on your helmet and this is at least a workaround for now to give you something creative because you're not going to see a whole lot of people you know in team builder uh with this type of thing I, at least i haven't seen it yet so you know like i said man i hope that this helped you and i hope that you guys are learning a lot with photoshop and photo p uh or you know using images that you get online whatever you're using or however you're having fun with this game Man, I hope you guys are having so much fun and being very, very creative because uh, that's what it's all about, man. I got to say one, one more time. I know I say it all the time, but I got to say again, the support lately has been absolutely incredible. You guys, yes, you right now watching this video and you guys that comment on these videos, man, you guys are amazing. You motivate me every day and you make this all worth it. I cannot tell you enough how grateful I am for all of you and how much I appreciate Every comment, every like, every subscription, every bit of support that you guys give, man. You guys are truly my brothers, truly my family. We will be back very, very soon. I was waiting for that big title update, and it has now dropped. I now have the Dynasty in place, and we are just about ready to go. So much more exciting stuff to come, man. If you had a good time and you learned something in the video, leave it a like for me because it does help a ton. And if you're new, man... Keep rocking with us because we got a lot more to come. Subscribe and stick with us. Man, so much love to you and everyone in this entire community. And I will catch you boys in the next one.